I figured I should do an update on Tanmora. Now, normally, I do make money um, because I have Dashbiga, Dugan, Halmar, Nara, and um, Halmar, Nara, and Toba Castle. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you in Halmar. Um, oops, I must have left it by accident. Uh, well, let's let's this fight is a little close. There they are. Sorry, I didn't. Okay, that's already over. That was quick. So I'll show you the problem real quick. Um, we have the Kyrgyz Kanat has Ikamor, Tolga, Nara, Halmar, and Amarad. They have five cities now. Remember when I went to them, they were maybe back at two cities. Now the. Saranid Sultanate are at two cities. So I'm going to leave the Kyrgyz Khanate and see if I can join the other group. I know um, more people now. Um, let me see if I can show you. Um, so you see I have lots of friends and I have no enemies. I do eventually need to be reading some books for my skills. Um, part of these friends came from my being with the Kyrgyz Kana. So I'll get more when I'm with the Saranid Sultanate. Also, my renown is 612. My honor is 87. My right to rule is 39, which is actually probably high enough for me to go on my own. So I might be overdoing it a little bit, but I'd like to balance things off one more time before I go on my own. That will bring my right to rule up, hopefully close to 50%, and then I can start sending out my eight party members to gather me right to rule. So let me show you my city. I have built the messenger post and the prison tower. And this is my garrison. I will sell the prisoners to the ransom ransomer. Pr more and more prisoners keep on appearing in here. I even got some leaders in here. Um, because I can hold 30, I get roughly 3,000 at a time when I sell 30 of them. Uh, notice they're mostly top-tier troops like Huskarls and Knights. I'm going to delete most of these because when I leave the city, a lot of them will remain in the city and then it will be harder for me to take later when I'm on my own. So I'm just going, to, the way I delete them is when I click on them, um, I can click on him and I can give. And then... Um, Once I'm done giving and taking, I go out. Um, and then what I do is I click on party. And then I click on the people and I disband them. That's the way I get rid of troops. See the disband button? So I have to take them out of the city into my party. And then I have to click disband to get rid of them. So before I move to the try and move to the Saranid Sultanate. I'm going to disband people in Halmar. Um, another one of my cities is Nara. I'm going to disband them in Nara. Now, again, the way that I got these cities is I got above 20 with the king in relation, and I got roughly 20 in relation with the people he knows. 
uh, that are close to him. Often you can see them in the feast. They're often standing near the king. Those people also. Um, so the garrison in Nara. Again, a lot of top tier troops, but not all of them are that way. And um, I build the different buildings in the cities. And I also do things for the... Um, for those places, you get more money from the city, I think, if you keep the bandits away from the cities and you prevent your caravans going to your cities. It appears to be consistent that I get more money when uh, when I take care of my cities and my towns that way. So uh, notice I've built an improvement I'm not going to build another improvement because I'm about to give these up. So I have Dishpiga. I have Dugan. I have probably about 80 relation to Dugan because I've been working on them for a while. And I have Tobuk Castle. And I didn't get them. I didn't accept them all at once. You need to be a little slow about how you accept people. <coughs> accept fiefs and such because if you accept them too quick you might not be able to defend them and then I take people out and I grow their experience by keeping roughly 39 to 59 and fighting people and as they go th through me they gain experience through training the reason they gain experience through training um, for example Leslet talk what can you tell me about your skills the trainer skill i made them fairly high so they get from the trainer skill um let's see he's six levels so zero one two three four five six if you look in the upper right hand corner he's giving 38 experience to each of the people lower than him so if you have that on all of your companions, it stacks. And so you can grow experienced troops even while you're walking around. Fighting with other people just accelerates the rate at which they gain their level. Now, Toba Castle is mine also. And you see I'm currently building a messenger post. I have a prison tower. And uh, I have some prisoners that I need to give to ransomer and here are the people defending it so I'm going to decrease the number of people uh, and I'm not going to make you watch me do that um, if you have questions about it you can ask underneath the video and I'll pick up when I go to the Saranid Sultanate so thank you for watching and that should be I think an adequate update